it's important to test your fluoride filters. I learned that lesson. So here's the short story. Uh, for like the past 10 plus years we've been filtering fluoride out. But we've always bought the more expensive brands. Uh, we started with Berkey and then uh, we went to ProPure. But last year online I found uh, a filter at Amazon that was like a third the cost of the ProPures that I was using at that point. And so I thought, wow, that's quite a savings. It said at Amazon that they filtered fluoride, and I was a little skeptical because they were so cheap, so I actually wrote the company and they said, yes, they do filter fluoride. So, great. So I bought them, put them in, and had been using them all the way up until about a month ago. Uh, I mean, I always felt a little weird about it, but I didn't test them. About a month ago, I decided I was going to start drinking more water because I've never drank much water at all, maybe probably you know, one or two glasses a day, and decided I'm going to start drinking a decent amount of water, at least, uh, you know, 32 ounces to 64 ounces. You're supposed to do 64. So anyway, I figured if I'm going to start drinking all this water, I absolutely have to test these cheap filters and see what happens. I found this uh, spectrophotometer, I think that's how you say it, for testing fluoride at Amazon. And uh, when I tested them, there was zero reduction from the fluoride in the tap water to what was running through the filters. Uh, I wrote the company, they said, well, they're probably just old, uh, we'll send you some new ones, give them a shot. Took the old ones out, put the new ones in, ran it again, got the exact same result. Basically, within the margin of error for this testing device, there was practically zero reduction whatsoever. Um, I took them out, Put Pro -Pure, bought some ProPure filters, put them in, ran them through, ProPure filters worked fine. So I've already done this test three times total, but I figured I would just go ahead and do it all on film so I'd have it all uh, available and then share it with people so they could see how if they want to test and also, you know, that this can happen. So anyway, um, originally when I ran the tests, the uh, filters that didn't work were in here, but since I'm doing this again, I didn't want to take out the uh, ProPure filters and then stick the, the ones that don't work in there and do it that way. So what I did is I just took one of the ones that don't work and just created this little makeshift apparatus here and filtered some water today. So that's for this one. This is the filter that doesn't work. That's the water from that. We're going to do the tap water first. And then we'll do the, we'll do the tap water. Then we'll do this. And then we'll do the ProPure and see what we get. First things first, you're going to need deionized water if you want to run this test. Go ahead and pour some of this deionized water in here. This is what we're going to use to set the level in the uh, testing device. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can without spilling this stuff. Alright. 
Got a little D on the top of this. Stands for DINI, so that way we won't get it mixed up. Make sure there's no fingerprints on it. Okay, so that takes two minutes for that thing to zero out, and while that's doing that, Tap water uh, fluoride level varies. I've seen it as low as 0.6 and as high as a little over one part per million. down to 19 seconds. So, doing good there. Okay. Take out the deionized. Put in the tap water. the button. It says 0.69 right now. So it's not totally accurate. I guess it can be off by like about a tenth. So turn it off. And we're going to start again with deionized. Going. Rinse it out with this. Okay, we're going to dump this out. I could wipe it out, probably a little overkill, but I'll do it anyway.
down to six seconds over here. Point nine. Okay, so there you go. Clearly, like I said, there's a little bit of a fluctuation. I guess it depends on whether or not you get, you get the exact amount in there, but clearly that's not less than what that was. It's actually a little bit more. So, that's not good. Now, one more to do. Here, I'll uh, get some water out of here. Rinse it out with the same water we're going to use. First of all, I'm going to get this started. Here's the deionized. Get that going. Okay. Take this out. All right, I guess. Point one six. Clearly a reduction from point six nine. So, and that's consistent with, uh, you know, I, I, I'd actually like to run it one more time. I'm going to run this one one more time to see if it gets lower than point one six because I have seen a fluctuation. So, we'll run the, the good filtered water one more time. Okay, so we're going to retest it. We're going to retest the solution here, the uh, ProPure filters.
turn it down to 15 seconds here. .05. That's about right. So there you go. I'll include uh, links at the bottom of the video if you want to see the particular uh, the ProPure brand, the size of the filters that I got, and then also I'll link to this thing if you want to get one.